how very tempting it was to go boo and scare the audience. <laughs> Also, and to answer Eggman's question, I would rather spend the day with Sage. I have my reason. <laughs> I, I, I will say that Sage would be a character uh, you could just sit down and have a deep discussion with. That's, that's the reason for my answer. Mm, that's very valid. <laughs> Michael, you don't scare me. <laughs> oh, yes, Michael. Just you wait. <laughs> oh, Hi, everybody. Uh, it's me. Hi, Hi I'm the problem. It's me. <laughs> All right, well, we have one of us already. Good morning, my roll, chums. Hopefully, you got over the bagels and the pizza and the chili dogs. Are we all what? doing tonight? Whoop whoop and stuff. Hello, hello. It's good. It's good. Hello, Yo, people up, in the audience. How's it hanging? <laughs> hello, everybody. Hello. We're all surrounded by humans and furries, but definitely the more PG rated type. Yeah. I know, it's so weird to be, like, here using my real voice. I mean, we're, we're like, not parents. What was the last time cool. that you people became human for once and not being animals? Yeah, we're, we're humans. That never happens. Mm, well, Silver, you do a really good diet Dr. Kelp impression. <laughs> Why, thank you. Yeah, you can't find the beast boy, yo. That's what it's kind of like. <laughs> well, Shadow, you also do a really good diet Dr. Kelp impression. Crazy! Yeah, they're, they're both a Shadow amazing. and... Shadow and Silver are both here. They're just trading off doing the Diet Dr. Kelp impression. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're <laughs> both they're taking turns uh, on the mic. They're doing this. They're creating this character named Diet Dr. Kelp. It's their OC trademark. Do not steal. Um, <laughs> Definitely not voiced by celebrities like Robert Pattinson and Tom Holland for a Paramount Pictures production. God, I wish. Wait, mm. what? Who knows? <laughs> Maybe beyond 2026 or 2020 something when we're all in our 50s. <laughs> Yes, indeed. <laughs> we'll make sure we're applied by those contracts. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Whatever pays the bills. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, selling Eggman's body pics? Yeah, they'll definitely sell a lot. <laughs> it's definitely shaped like an egg. Just think of it that way. Humpty Dumpty, but with a mustache. He's an ovoid man with an ovoid plan. Hmm. That definitely rings a bell. Awkward, quirky noises. Eep, eep, eep. All right, Josh, uh, let us know when we're live, and I'll let Leah in introduce the panel. Ooh, Leah gets to introduce. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> She's fancy. I almost wow. thought it was pronounced Leah Lisa really at good first. Leah impression. The, there's no S in her name. <laughs> yeah, no Lisa, no Princess Leia. It's Leela Lila. It's I just got after. A little bit mixed up. I should have put on my eye contacts or four eyes, but it's above my hair, so that's why I want to keep it clear. <laughs> Look, sometimes fashion over function. You just gotta. Yes. It's a fashion trend. <laughs> uh, I am notorious for making the fashionable choice and not the functional choice. Have I given myself hypothermia multiple times because I wore a cute outfit in the cold? Yes. Would I do it again? Yes. You brave shawl. Wise decisions. <laughs> Clearly. Better than wearing a paper Look, bag my, when you're my, homeless. My wisdom <laughs> score is utter garbage. Don't be asking me to make good choices. <laughs> you're like a and d character who's put pumped all the stats into charisma. Lit literally, I've pumped... I am the bardiest bard who ever barded. I've pumped yes. everything into charisma. <laughs> Sing us a song, you're the piano woman. <laughs> Look, I'll do it. I know you're joking, but I'll do it. No, I, I don't doubt it. Nice I know reference. you <laughs> Corrin's walking into the situation. The risk I took was calculated, but man, I suck at math. Yup, mood. Like, my int score is okay, but it's nothing to... The, the only stat that I'm good at is charisma. That's it. That's all yeah. I got. It's a good thing the doctor says math instead of math. He'll be like, hey, it's good for you. I got some in the back of the white van. Look, sometimes... Sometimes, question mark? It be yes. like that. It do be like that I, I did not need to know that. I think I saw the, I think I saw the Twitch say it was live, but I don't know for sure. Are we live? Are we yeah. going? Yeah, Josh, no, are we, we going? We're already we live the whole time. We're just hearing cricket noises. We'll oh, just wait. For we're live, Josh you guys. Word. Oh, we I messed it up. We, I thought we were waiting for Josh to tell us that we were live. So wait, yeah. we were live right now. Apparently. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Uh, that's what everyone's uh -oh. saying that we're live. <laughs> Up in the morning to you, lefties. Have you ever played Fortnite? Ever played rugby? Have you ever played Dokkan Battle? Uh, uh, everyone's saying that we're live. Josh, can you confirm? Uh, Josh, no. 
Did you die? Maybe Discord for Five Nights at Freddy's tonight. Look, would would this be a Sonic Revolution panel if there wasn't some kind of uh, technological problem? Uh, that that was beautiful. <laughs> Yep, Admina would say it wouldn't be theater without a problem. It wouldn't no, be theater without Joe a problem. A lot. Good for uh, you, I Dino mean, Kaiju. I mean, we'll assume we're live, so I, I guess we can yeah. start early. And did you go. want to introduce? Okay. Welcome, everyone, to the Would You Rather Revocast Edition panel. <laughs> we, we have, we have um, several of our Revo VA cast here today. We have coincidence. Hey, everybody. <laughs> the pop culture dude. Alrighty then, my royal chums. It is I, Daniel, but you may call me the pop culture dude. Glitch kitten. Hello, hello. How are you guys doing? Andrew HVA. Hello, it's me. And Diet Dr. Kelp. Hey, guys, it's me, Silver. I'm so excited to voice Diet Dr. Kelp. I've been waiting for this forever. <laughs> you were supposed to let me no, no, do it. There he is. There he is. Familiar. <laughs> Was waiting for him. Found him. Josh anyway, yes. Out. Hi, I'm Diet Doctor Kelp. I voice Shadow and Silver, and I have fun stuff. Yes. Oh, uh, were we supposed to announce our characters too? Because I messed that up. Nah. I have no idea. No. They no, know. The, the people know who we are. The we're people. famous. Oh, yeah. They know who we are. <laughs> Yeah, oh, we're not as famous as Keanu Reeves. But feel free to go face. around the room and tell everyone who you voice if you voice someone. Uh, I'll. I guess we'll start at the top, which is me. Uh, I do Tangle, Surge, and Mina here at Revo. <clears throat> okay, so in chronological order. So since we're going on Sonic territory, so the first and foremost that everyone knows me, the voice of Doctor Eggman, Knuckles the Echidna, Fang the Sniper, uh, here. and the one in this panel is Storm the Albatross. Those are all very impressive. I thank you very much, Glitch Kitten. For uh, Revo, your storm. Yeah. yeah, I am. On this panel, but I'm just saying generally for other roles in the Sonic fan base. Gotcha. gotcha, gotcha. Oh, are we also doing those two? Uh, I thought I it was, was just, for Revo. just Revo, but I guess I guess we can do more. Uh, okay. I only just mentioned uh, Sonic once because obviously that's the target audience of this fan base. That's fair. Um hi. <laughs> I do Sage for Revo, uh, and for other stuff, I've done Percy, uh, Galaxina, Amy Rose, and Honey the Cat. And, uh, well, for me and Revo, it's Sonic himself, Boom Sonic, Orbot, and I usually voice uh, Sonic and Knuckles for other stuff other than Revo stuff. <laughs> I voice the edgy hedgehog. And the, G, the goofy, G, the goofy G, one G, from the G. future, he, he says it's no use a lot. Yeah, th those guys, I voiced them for Revo. And I also voiced a couple other characters outside of Revo. Uh, namely, just uh, I, I voice Sonic sometimes. I voice uh, Vector badly, but that's mainly just because it kills my throat. But... Anyway, I do I do a bunch of different impressions, but namely uh, the edgy one and the future boy. <laughs> Definitely the edgy one that listens to Nirvana. <laughs> All right, before we Don't start. Don't you know it's Nickelback? I thought I told you. <laughs> I thought it was Green Day or Three it's Days Grace. It's, it's canon, Evanescence. everybody. Let it be known. Shadow listens to Nickelback and everyone should harass Nickelback, him about it. It's the greatest band that has ever been made. I could have sworn this it was my is Catholic how romance. You remind me. Everyone, okay. please remember that. <laughs> Look at this graph. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, moving on. Okay, before we start the Would You Rather, we be sure to read the rules. Um, I'm going to say it right here before we start um you can ask would you rather questions to the rebel va cast but please be sure it is appropriate eggman is watching us so be sure he is watching us so please yes. be sure please oh, be sure watching. it is appropriate e even eggman wants to keep it <laughs> yeah. friendly. Yeah. he's Standard watching show. Always, Always watching. watching. Just don't do anything naughty like a smash or pass. It's either Amy Ams or Pac-Man. Just don't ask us questions like that. Please keep it clean. Yes. If you have to ask yourself, the answer is probably no. Mm -hmm. Most I'll likely. Breath. 
Thank you, Radar, for the meme. All mm -hmm. right. So shall we get started on this? Would you rather? Let's yeah. do it. Yay. All right. All right. I'll ask the first question. Would you rather use Android or iOS? Hmm. You had to start with this one, huh? Yeah. This is good. <laughs> this is the most God. basic one I can think of. So, yeah. I will answer your question with a question. Are we referring to phones only or are we referring to the uh, system as a whole? I'm, that is a good question. Mm -hmm. I would say probably as a whole. Uh, because um, I am an... I I am an iPhone girly. However, I will never use a MacBook in my life. That's fair. Uh, See, um, I'm kind of the opposite end of the coin because I, I use Mac because with what I studied in school, Mac products are the best to use them on. And, uh, well, outside of that, Literally everything else is better on other systems. Yeah. Um, but I would have to say yeah. iOS just because for what I literally studied, it works the best. That's fair. Yeah, I guess for me, it's also like iMac stuff, iOS stuff, because uh, filmmaking and everything, it gets used for that a lot. So, uh, yeah. Okay, I guess I could go next because I didn't speak. Well, clearly, I'd rather be a Chad and not be a virgin if I was an Android. I was an Android user, but then when I transitioned to iOS, it made everything better. One, better storage. Two, when it comes to recording stuff on camera for a video, way better quality, especially in terms of editing with an iOS. And then, first and foremost, plenty of data and pay like gigabytes that can actually like have enough storage with an Android. There's limits to that. So I was person all the way. Mm. Um, for phone, I guess I use Android just because it's I don't have to constantly worry. I don't have to worry about constantly going back to the store for an update because their update broke it um, like uh, iPhone tends to do. Um, uh, yes. I also can wait longer before having to get the new one, which I usually don't. I'll just stick with the one until it no longer works. Um, yeah, but I can get away Apple. with that, unlike iPhone users. Um, we all but... know Apple is like the pinnacle of pushing oh, yeah. out updates that actively make your older. Yep. Obsolete. You ran after a fruit, just saves it all. Your battery's not going to work anymore. Your connection's going to be terrible. Your storage is gone. None of your apps work. I'm like, great. Yeah, How do I fix all of that? New phone. <laughs> no, miss me with that. Um, <laughs> so, um, I guess for everything else, though, like being in the uh, in the entertainment industry, you kind of need a a computer that can handle all of that stuff. Um, I don't use Mac for anything. I used it once in college, and I hated it. Um, it Same. felt limiting to me. <laughs> um, uh, I feel sorry. Continue. I thought you were no, done. no. Go ahead. Go ahead. I feel like uh, Mac books and the Mac computer systems just are not as fast as PCs are. PCs just seem to be more bulky, which I prefer. They yeah. felt also and like more. Slow. Yeah, it, it also felt like when they were designed, um, they were more for like pretty and not much yeah. substance. Like the mouse is terrible to use. Well said, um, well said. Don't like the really super flat keyboard. In fact, that just makes carpal tunnel worse. I'm trying to avoid it, not sustain it. Um, and yeah, no, with everything that uh, I, I do, um, just using PC and, and other stuff like that just works a lot better. I've been able to make things just fine with it. So I think that. I, I'm curious, but can, did you did you use the split keyboard and the vertical mouse to avoid carpal tunnel? Because that's what I did. I did for a while. The keyboard that I have now, a friend of mine's actually put together, and it's raised, and it has um, it almost has mechanical keyboard clap uh, caps to it. Um, but it's so my hands can rest comfortably right on the edge of the keyboard without the carpal tunnel like issue. Um, so yeah, I, I use the, um, I use the elevated keyboard to help with that. Um, I don't have it. I'm just avoiding it. I don't want to get it. You know what yeah, I mean? You, you <laughs> don't want to get it. Like I know people it's who have it. Awful. Oh, it's awful. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, very interesting answers <laughs> for the first question. All right. Um, Kevin, do you want to ask the next one? 
uh, would you rather have the ability to fly or the ability to teleport? I'm very curious on that one. Mm. Ooh, easy. Yeah, yeah there's, a correct, easy, there, there's a correct answer. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. There's there can only be one answer. answer. Everyone agrees that it's teleport, right? Oh, yeah. Come on. It's I mean, cool. if you don't want to be late for work or be late for an event, I, you just want to like close seriously. your eyes, snap your fingers, and you're already there. Whether it's by powers mm-hmm. or by a portal ring, it's easy just to transport wherever you want to go. You can go to England, you can go to Alaska, or basically, I don't know, New York City, just anywhere in general. Um, so I have a half and half on that. Um, so I, I, I know the idea of teleporting is a lot better because of the instantaneous nature and it's more convenient. Um, however, I like the thought of being able to fly somewhere and really enjoy the scenery around you, not have to blink and miss it. Um, I enjoy the journey. Um, I like traveling. So like being able to fly somewhere, um, and see everything on the way really just kind of like be at bliss with how quiet it probably is up there. Um, I kind of feel like I would enjoy that more than just the snap my fingers and I'm there type deal. Because I feel like that would take it, be taken advantage of so quickly. You don't get anything from it except the instantaneous reward. So I feel like maybe if you had a process to it instead, you'd kind of appreciate the power a little bit more. But that might just be me. Yeah, I, I get that. The views up there are actually really nice. Mm-hmm. But that's just me. I, I love flying, personally. I love the views. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, was gonna say, is... I'm, I was gonna say Go um okay cool. Um I was gonna say I was fifty fifty as well because the idea to just fly around just sounds like fun. And I think mm-hmm. I would love to try that. Um but then being able to teleport would be so great because then you know you can mm-hmm. have a bit of a lay in, teleport to work, I, you know. I don't know, I'm 50 50. I, I would like to fly around <laughs> personally. But it'd mm-hmm. also be great to teleport, so I'm I'm caught in the middle. Yeah, I think flying uh, comes with like the fun thing of like hovering and floating and stuff like that, whereas teleport doesn't really come with those. Yeah, it's exactly. just you yeah. know, you kind of warp can, and that's it. But like it'd be cool to take a nap while it. hovering or floating. It'd be cool. I can yeah. definitely see it for me personally. And and here here we go. I'm about to be the fun police. Get ready. So here, here comes the fun police. I'm about to science the crap out of this. So hey. with teleportation, you can get to where you want to go in the safest manner possible. But with flight, depending on how high you go with air pressure, it could end up a lot worse than it would be to just teleport there. Also, you got to think about wind speed with no windshield, all that sort of stuff. If you're going really, really fast and the air force is coming at you, like that is that is stuff exactly. that is going to cause a lot of pain real fast. So I would say, yeah, teleportation is the right answer for me. You can and easily I'm sorry, get away, but I'm going to fun ours. police it. It's, no, it's tele- that, that, that is fair. That's fair. But like, I have a rebuttal with the science thing. So like all that with flying, if you have that flying power, there's a probability that your body also adapts to having that power. We as human beings don't have that ability, so our body doesn't have the adaptation necessary or the build necessary to assist in that. But if we had that power and it was a a power that we had, a natural one, then obviously our body would be adjusted to those wind speeds, to the drag. Uh, Our bodies would be a lot softer like, and our bones would be a lot lighter for us to be able to fly and be able to be up there. Whereas teleportation where that's really cool and you can blink and stuff. We have no idea what happens between the inner vacuum of literally poofing out of existence and popping back into existence. Um, The science behind that is incalculable of what that could do to your body. That's like almost pressurizing your body for a second and then like unfurling an aluminum can. I'm pretty this sure that would have with, long-lasting effects. This is equipped with no exits. Your flight time will be forever. And your end destination will be the black void of distant space. Pretty much. <laughs> if you go beyond the planet. And words of advice, just to quote this from an animated movie, just don't wear capes, especially in your natural disaster. Or you're going <laughs> to no get capes, sucked for no, <laughs> capes. no capes. A hoodie is fine no to capes. keep you warm up there. <laughs> uh, so my thing is that I really love to travel and uh, seeing the world and seeing different places is one of my greatest joys in life but that's so freaking expensive um, and I can't afford to do all the things I want to do 
if I could just teleport across the country or teleport to uh, Europe or Asia or wherever I wanted to go, it would save me thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars. And I can't oh, yeah. argue with that. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. But wait, if we could fly, who's charging us to fly ourselves? Are we but charging ta- ourselves money? To but it fly? would take like if you have to fly all the way mm-hmm. across the country, that's going to be almost like taking a road trip. And that's going to be extra exertion on your body because you are the one physically making that happen. So it would um, just be food, food and, and like sleeping. Possibly. It, it would all, you might be tired depending on, and not get to enjoy anything when you get there. Depending uh, on the, the uh, mechanic. Yeah, depending on yeah. how the mechanics of the flight work, like. Is it one of those those things like a bird where you have to physically exert yourself to get yourself off of the ground? If so, you're going to get to where you want to get in like a week and you'll be exhausted when you get there uh, longer than taking a road trip. Whereas, but if you're just hovering like in a superhero movie, then I can see it being a little more, a little more feasible. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Because if it's like, let's say an albatross, you'd be able to just glide on wind drafts and get right. to where you need to go without having to flap your wings it would just kind of be a straight shot on that um just which means you wouldn't it, overexert energy you would just kind of be riding the wind all the way over it would entirely true. depend i guess on how the mm-hmm. flight mechanics work true mm-hmm. i guess that goes to teleportation too we have no idea like the repercussions of using it so much is there a limit does it pressurize your body can you only go a certain distance? Is it completely anywhere? Is that regulated by law if that becomes normal? I think that we're taking law out of it because regulated by law, now we're getting into something else entirely because there will be laws regarding flight too. Um, but if we're taking law out of it... Of, you go by the rules of Silver in 06 where there's no physics. The laws of physics do not apply to him. He can stand upside down on a loop-de-loop just because. So... But your yeah, point we're is go- valid. We're going crazy logic because no laws apply. This is just if we could do it, can we? Can we do it? And yeah. what that's would fair, we y- Your point is valid, Glitch Kitten. Like, how far does the teleportation take you? Because that changes my. Mm-hmm. That would possibly change my answer. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. Just make sure you maintain yourself, test around your powers, make sure you don't crash to any buildings or mountains, or eventually just make your face bruised. Just saying. I, don't I, I feel like into somebody's bathtub. Oh, I yeah. feel they like we have gotten into a philosophical bathtub. discussion. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll ask the next one. Would you rather eat pizza for the rest of your life or eat cheeseburgers for the rest of your life? Ooh, asking a tough mm. question. Off the corn, no travel lover, yeah. Hmm, can't say no to pizza, but burgers yeah. have a variety of toppings, though. Damn. Pizza is my easy answer. Yeah, cool. pizza for me. Pizza's my favorite food, so uh, I could I could eat it every day. Uh, the <laughs> pizza the lover. Lover. It would be Weetabix. Look, Italian is my <laughs> favorite food ever, but that's specifically in reference to pasta. I do love pizza, though. You mm-hmm. can't go wrong with some good pizza. I take oh. it back. It depends on the pizza. Like, where are we getting the pizza from? I am from New York, mm. so I am a I pizza snob. Say, me too, Those because I'm, I'm really picky on pizza Chunky because of coming from New York. Like, so, it has, yeah, so, on what it is. So, so I am from New York and have lived, grown up with really good New York pizza. New York is the place to get pizza. That's just the way it is. And mm-hmm. then I moved to Massachusetts, which is where I am now. And the pizza here is garbage, just utter garbage. So if I had to eat Massachusetts pizza forever, I would take the burgers. But if I could just get my New York pizza, that would be my answer. I vouch for that, too. Like, genuinely, if I can get New York pizza only- like from where I grew up, I would go with that. Here's the only pizza that we're allowed to eat is Freddy Fazbear's. Oh yeah, I totally absolutely that. not. <laughs> That's also another thing. Well, the only burgers I like are steak pizza. burgers from Freddy's. So that would be the only burgers I would eat forever. Mm-hmm. The thing is with burgers, there's so many different ways that you can that you can make them. Just like with pizza, there's so many different ways that you can make them. Everyone has their preference, and it's impossible to pick the right answer because everyone has a yeah. different choice. Mm-hmm. Also, not every burger meat is organic. Like whenever you go to like a McDonald's or Burger King, it's always like the flat meats. But if you go to a Five Guys or some quality chain burgers, that's where you know it's real meat. You know, but for pizza, also, there's a lot of variety. You know. Also, uh, 
someone in the audience makes the point of the crusty crab pizza and yes my name comes from that episode so uh, you know by law i i objectively have to choose by law no those are the rules these are the rules when you name yourself as an origin lore the origin ties into everything so therefore it is 100 percent law it has to be pizza for me on the crust Mm. because you can't have your pizza without your drink I am not this right. <laughs> oh my gosh, they put the gif. <laughs> yes. Oh, they put all the gifts. And thank you guys for putting all the gifts. I appreciate you. Yeah, the band is cultural. Mm, I think everyone answered. Did everyone yeah, answer? I think everybody answered. Yeah, yeah. Much, yeah. Most of us say pizza, so uh, no, no, the yeah. burgers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, boys, uh, burgers, no, pizza, yes. Yeah, All right, yeah. Oh, here's a really good one. Would you rather take an all expensive paid trip to Walt Disney World or Universal Studios Orlando? What a coincidence! Because I just had an annual pass of going to Disney World for like over a year. So that is a really good question. So since I'm, you know, I'm something of a Florida resident myself. So technically, oh, for no. Disney, on the nostalgia factor of everything else, it's definitely great it's for the families and the friends. But if you have kids, good luck with that with the stroller parking. But for Universal, on the other hand, I would arguably say it has the better rides. And let's be fair, Universal Orlando, since, you know, that's the state where I'm coming from. I probably might go to Universal later this year. They are cooking up some new recipes when it comes to video game fans and movies when it comes to, obviously, Mario, How to Train Your Dragon, and other intellectual properties. Yeah, but Epic Universe. When it comes, yeah, that's yeah, Epic Universe, which can't wait for that for next summer, 2025. But back to the question, either between Disney, even though this is coming from a guy that went to Disney like, what, nine, ten times in one year, and it's definitely exhilarating, I would say, hmm, good question. It would be inexpensive to Disney just for the sake of the nostalgia experiences, but when it comes to the thrill rides, if you're in line for the attraction rather than the experience, it would be universal. Especially during Christmas, they have Grinch, so that's a okay in my book. And you got more money than me. Look, I don't have the money as Bill Gates or Jeff Bezos. It's just luck. Either if it's a good paycheck or if it's for a birthday situation by saying, hey, we're going to go to Disney. But note to self, uh, make sure you make sure you go to a non-reservation day, or in this case, your pass will not be valid to go inside the parks. If not, just go to downtown Disney or Universal City Walk. But hey, it's good for any tourist, whether, especially during the summer. There's always a lot of UK people, European folks, Brazilian people, any different countries. It's like, well, let's go to Florida. It's a tropical place to go to both parks. But for experience, Disney, but for rides, Universal. Yep, I can agree with. How about, how about you, Corn? How about you, Disney Laurel? Uh, so here's the thing. Everyone in Revo knows I'm a Disney person. Uh, uh, there's a reason that Tangle is a massive Disney fan, and it's because Corin can't keep their mouth shut. Um, however, so fun fact, my grandmother was one of the people who originally helped to fund Disney World. Um, like her name is on one of the stones outside of Disney World. As such, my family has lifetime passes. Um, it the passes go from they went when my grandmother passes it will go to my mother when my mother passes it will go to my sister it will go to my sister's first child so on and so forth in perpetuity i don't think that walt disney and his family were expecting disney world to be as big as it was when they did that but that's what the contract says so that's what we get um so because of that because i already have lifetime passes to disney world i have no choice but to say universal that, that's fair. That is fair. Um, oh, today, today alone, I, I didn't know that. All right, Team Shrek and Jurassic Park. I'll just hit both in the same vacation. I love Disney World. Disney World is the I deeply, deeply love it, and will go there all the time. Mm, interesting. Mm. Hey, uh, so how about park. you, Quetchkin? Um, so I've never been to either park, mostly because expensive. <laughs> um, fair. But I probably would have more fun at Orlando. Uh, probably. I'm a Disney person for sure. Um, I'm just not a huge fan of current Disney. So I'd probably go to Orlando just to kind of 
I don't know, be able to enjoy myself, I suppose. Yeah, Universal's fun. From someone who is from Orlando, definitely recommend to go to Disney. Why? Because there's four parks rather than two in California. That is true. How about you, Cal? Well, speaking as someone who is a former Floridian and lived there for nine and a half years and went to Disney all the time and then also has been to Universal Studios Orlando, not as many times as Disney, but that's because I had to grow up first to go to Universal because that's where the big boy rides are. Um, I would say there are two different feelings when you go to the parks. There is, if you want the nostalgia, the, uh, as Daniel had said, if you want the nostalgia, that, that world that you are like, you can remember f- like so, so fondly, so many great memories. Disney has all that because of the amount of properties and memories that you, that are related to that media. However, if you want to go to have the most fun and thrill and and sense of like, this is something new. This is something wild. This is crazy. You go to Universal Studios. You hit up the Incredible Hulk coaster. You go on Revenge of the Mummy. You go to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and feel like literally transported into it. It's crazy how cool it is. I have to say Universal because it's just the amount that they do with creating a vast variety of different rides and experiences at universal is so insane. That's not, that's just saying, Uh Oh, Oh, I think your mic glitched out. There. Yeah. Did you die? Uh-oh. 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 Well, okay. Wait, that, uh- okay. Is that better? Did that yeah. work? Not sure. Yeah, that was, that was weird. I'll wait yeah. to you. Well, look, I would say, you know, to cut things short, I'm not docking Disney, but Universal just has this thing that they do so well. And I have to say, I got to go with Universal because the the thrill rides, every kind of experience that you have is just so great. By the way, Dr. Kelb, now that we're in that topic, what is your favorite attraction at Universal Orlando? Oh, gosh, that's so tough to pick. Why did you do this to me? Well, you mentioned the names, which Hulk is a good one. For me, my personal favorites, I mean, this is cliche, but the Spider-Man ride is obviously a fan favorite. And then the recent one that came out not too long ago was the Jurassic World Velocicoaster. Pretty fast, where you literally hold on to your butts and go swirling around upside down the water, which is obviously from Mounts of Adventure. So I'm like, Spider-Man and the Velocicoaster, old faves for me. I I really got to say Revenge of the Mummy. It's It's so cool. Revenge of the Mummy, like everything they do from the theming of that ride all the way, like in the queue of that ride leading up to the attraction itself. And then you get on the ride. So astronomically cool. And if you're a young child, it will scare the daylights out of you. <laughs> done that to me, so he's but not I will also that. say Disney has the exact same thing in the Tower of Terror. I can attach. As a kid, whenever we went to Hollywood Studios, which I will call it Hollywood Studios because now that's what it is. Not um, MGM although Studios. I remember it, I remember it was open like when I went there, it was MGM, but I still know it as Hollywood Studios just because it had so many other movies and it wasn't just MGM, so I called it Hollywood. But um it it had from the moment I first like laid eyes on that attraction and I, and we were walking up to the tower of terror, it just gives you this ominous presence. Like you're walking up to this big decrepit building and then you go inside the queue and the gardens and then you go into the hotel and it's all run down and there's just something about it that feels wrong. And then when you go down to the boiler room and stuff like that, you as a kid, I, I tell you what, there was no ride that scared me more than the tower of terror. I got up to like the elevator several times and then just chickened out because I was actually so terrified of it. Just oh, because, like, I can not like, Who alone scared me enough? Mm. So PTSD. I would say Universal is my choice, but Disney has some great stuff, but Universal. Mm. Okay. No, how about oh, you, nice. Andrew? Oh, well, I've never been to any of them, so it'll be new for me. Um... I do like, obviously, the classic Disney, so there's nostalgia there. Uh, I kind of feel like Kelp has sold me on Universal, so <laughs> I'm going to have to pick Universal. Well, Universal is fantastic. I can't believe We're it. Plus, if you want it. a cheaper experience, you'd probably want to go to Universal. Oh, yeah, that's a fact. Mm-hmm. There you go. There you go. He sold it to me. 
<laughs> like Disney, Disney is expensive, and they know don't, they are because they're Disney. Especially, uh, don't with their forget annual that passes. in. Don't forget that in this scenario, it is an all expense paid trip to either one, so cost has nothing to do with it. That is true. It's true. It's still it's true. Universal. It's <laughs> universal. Um, a lot of Disney when it comes to ticket sales. You know, I, I I think I've still been sold. I, I'm going to Universal. <laughs> I, I just have okay. to say Universal. It's just it's it's Universal yeah, yeah, for he, me. He sold it to me. I, I'm sold. <laughs> Revenge oh, of the Mummy. Yeah, Revenge Spider-Man of the Mummy alone is enough reason for me to want to go to Universal. Mm, very interesting answers. <laughs> All right. How about one more, Leah, and then we'll take some audience questions. Yeah. Um, would you rather bake a cake with Amy or build inventions with Tails? But I hope Ooh. you don't have that hammer out. No, I'm gonna go ahead. <laughs> uh so fun fact. Mm-hmm. I have had Tangle tell a lot of stories about her inability to cook and nearly setting the kitchen on fire. All of Tangle's stories are my stories. They are true stories. Um, I have almost set the kitchen on fire four times. I cannot cook. Um, so I would have to go with Tails because I am less likely to cause problems. Mm. See, I'm the opposite. I cannot trust myself in a science lab. I'm going with cooking. There ain't no way I'm touching anything in a science lab because I could be working with nothing but glass and a toothpick and find a way to make something explode because I'm (laughs) that bad at science. So yeah, I'm going with cooking. Plus I've baked some stuff before. It's I like it. It's, it's kind of therapeutic to be honest, but I haven't done it in a while, but if I could follow the instructions, I can do it. However, in a science lab, oh yeah, things are going to go wrong. I'm not, I'm not even going to front. Got to go with, got to go with cooking, baking a cake with Amy. Plus I feel like Amy would be fun to be around. Mm. Fair, fair answer. How about you, Glitch Ken? Tails though. Tails is great too. <laughs> um, so I believe the choices are going into the lab and dangerous stuff or cooking, which also could still kind of be dangerous depending. Um, Hmm. I love cooking, but I'm gonna have to say science lab because, like, what other opportunity am I gonna get to like mess with chemicals mm-hmm. and see what they do? Explosions! <laughs> what could chaos. possibly go wrong? Absolutely. Well, mm-hmm. that's the fun of it. It's the chaos. Absolutely it's nothing. Question mark. Everything. <laughs> Everything could go wrong all the Don't time. S- that is the talk of a quitter. Hmm. <laughs> Speaking as someone who barely made it through chemistry in high school, in in high school and in college, yeah, no, I'm. I did I'm not would make it more fun. It's my what if you made a real I'm volcano, a volcano in real. How about how about you, uh, Daniel? Oh me, sorry, I just got back from the bathroom, so I'm like, oh, yeah, no worry. I was gonna say, let me guess, let me rephrase my memory. Is it bake a cake with the pink one or uh, make inventions with the fox boy? Is that the question? Yeah, yes. <laughs> Alrighty then. So either one or okay, look, I'm not trying to be too cheesy in a way, or in this case be rude, but I do not want to make strawberry shortcakes with literally a girl that kind of reminds me of that. So I rather stick with the fox boy because come on, he can build planes, he could build machines, and mm-hmm. technically. Why can't the small fox can even own his own cooperation or something? I mean, he is the CEO of Tails Tube. He might as well just take Steve Jobs' career. But point is, at least Tails will come in handy when it comes to like inventions, just to learn a little bit of mechanics and techniques. And thirdly, he is a good asset just to tag along with your team. Well, for a cake, you can literally have that for every single birthday of your day. So at least on the tech side with Tails is more intriguing in my taste than frosting and cake, you know? We can come up with so many cures and then destroy those cures and then come up with cures for that one. But we will just, we will accidentally, by using the cures, we will accidentally create new diseases and immediately cure them with tails. What could Uh, possibly go wrong? How lovely. Have a nice fun day just baking with Amy, just making some delicious treats and enjoying them. It'll be fun. It's fine. Glitch Kitten and I will go Beyond cause some chaos. It'll be fun. Let's go chaos! How about you, And then Andrew? I find out that the world is going to end in 45 seconds because you've created a new neurotoxin that vaporizes the air. Look, now, now, give us some credit. It was at least 20 seconds, not 45. 
That's yeah, worse. come on. <laughs> no, no, no. New record. I gave you credit by saying exactly. New record. You actively made it worse. And we well, fixed I'm it. I'm gonna make it a speed run now. <laughs> and, and we fixed it in 15. We had a yeah. whole five seconds to spare. And now there's sirens going off in 10. <laughs> Look, I, thr- I thrive on chaos. I am Same. ready. Let's go, Glitchkin. Woo! A natural right, disaster huh? that could have happened on December 21st, 2012. Uh, how about you, Andrew? Um, ooh. Well, I think it'd be fun to cook with Amy, but I also think it'd be fun to make things with Tails. Um, it's a, it's actually a, it's a bit of a tough choice, I find, because, you know, you can make cakes, you can make all sorts of nice foods, and I do love my food, but it'd be cool to make some tech and get to experiment with the tech and see what happens. So... Since you've always Sonic and are so closely tied with both of these characters, your choice is the most important one here. Uh oh. <laughs> yes, exactly. If I say Tails, there's some Amy fans are like, the oh, for the <laughs> <laughs> If I, uh, if I pick Amy, I'm going to say, and you pick Tails, your best friend. Um, you know what? I'm, g- I'm going to have to pick Tails. Um, Let's go, Chaos! Join us, Andrew. <laughs> Blessed. I guess I'm the only one who's baking. It's bros before, you know. You can make the cupcakes yeah. before the world explodes. That is exactly no, 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 Glitch Kitten, we're gonna nearly explode the world and then save it in the nick of time. That's okay. the way this works. That's fair, that's fair. <laughs> because what Don't fun is destroying me. the I'll world be a cake because then you can't fun. destroy it again. And not let's let's uh let's create a natural like a disaster and then show up at Kelp's doorway and it's just like we are here for the cupcakes and there's just fire yep. behind us. <laughs> <it. laughs> yeah, hey, can, can, can we have Sage and Tangle break into uh Tail's lab? I think that would be fun. <laughs> that would be hilarious. That would be so fun. <laughs> um for Sage it'd probably be easier. Just because exactly. Sage is an AI. Exactly, she would it would be easy. Like go the hard route, though, just for the experience. It She'd would be fun. Have Eggman build her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She just tells Eggman she's having a play date, and she's like, "I'm inviting a friend. So if you see anybody on the sensors, just ignore it." <laughs> it's my friend. <laughs> All right. Tails and Eggman babysit Sage and Tangle. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> my God, I kind of love it. I kind of love that. Well, that's going to inspire the DeviantArt users. <laughs> all right. Yeah, um, all right. Let's open it up for audience members. With uh, audience uh, members. I, I made or had his hand up and then he put it down. So, Ali, did you want to call up Sally next? Uh, call Sally second and then BG Jedi third. All right. Uh, Sally Acorn, come on up. I was not expecting to go first. How many it's times do I have to tell you to expect the unexpected before you expect it? Like, come on. <laughs> yeah. expect the unexpected because if you don't expect it then you're not going to be knowing when you're going to be needing to expect it so you should expect it all the time so that that way you're <laughs> expecting it when you need to expect it got it I was updated by yes. anyway, anyways hello everyone and uh, how are y'all doing today doing good, doing doing good, good. Sandy cheese. all right yeah Ooh. Hmm. okay so it's been a while since I had done this uh before for the would you rather questions and uh hmm i would say would you rather or, um have a chili dog with sonic or or um fight to the death at uh at dr eggman's base oh andrew i have, I have to sonic know your sonic. answer <laughs> i have to know your answer for that uh well i will go simply for a chili dog with sonic <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. You know, it might Good be fun off. to fight to the death of the Eggman, but you know, I think I, I would like to live. <laughs> so I'm going for the Okay. Uh, what about you, Corin? Yeah, I'm with. I'm with my friend here. Um, I, for all of my talk, I'm not real good at throwing hands. Um, yeah, I'm bad at fighting. I'm sassy. I could get into a verbal spar, but if we're actually going to be doing fisticuffs, I'm not, I'm not your girl. I'm not the right choice. I'm going to just go <laughs> over there and eat a chili dog. Thanks. All right. All right. Listen, uh, listen. I will say this much. 
I'll walk up to Eggman's base. He'll be coming out with all the robots and everything. And I'll say, yeah, I'm built different poorly and then run away and I'll go have a tea. <laughs> I love that for you. <laughs> oh, I, I love that for you. My game and then run. <laughs> Man, help having a, a chat moment. Look, words <laughs> are my, words are my best friend. I can use the words and I can I can roast them until the until the cows come home. Yeah. But I wouldn't I be would. able to back any of it up. I would Totally. I agree. I I agree with you, man. <laughs> All right, glitch. What about you? Yeah. Oh no, I'm throwing hands. <laughs> like oh, free you. one. I'm throwing hands. <laughs> no, look at you. I'm good at the verbal <laughs> and I'm good at the physical. I will throw hands. Fight, um, fight, fight. I also don't like chili, so like I, I would <gasps> really enjoy the meal. Um, and there's a reason for that. I used to be able to kind of eat it, but I got acid reflux, so now I can't. Um, oh, yeah. So that is, yeah, eating that would cause me immense pain, more pain than possibly being riddled with holes by robots or being laffy taffied. So I'd rather go through that and at least get my kill count before I go down than go down to a hot dog. That's I valid. Oh, yeah. I can't. I Thank can't even is. argue with that. That's, that's actually valid. <laughs> All right, last one, Daniel. That that. Yeah, thank you. And by the way, I respect that you call me by my real name because I'd rather be accepted by my true identity rather than my fake username for identity purposes. But so <laughs> that, that, you're welcome. Yeah, exactly. Because you know, gotta be professional, like a celebrity or something. So anyway, mm -hmm. so the question was: Eat a chili dog with the hedgehog, or a battle face of the death, where I'm gonna die from this evil doctor. That's not Doctor Wiley from Meg. From I will say Mega 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 I was gonna say so yeah, that's for that's right to the death with Eggman. I'd rather not because first of all, I admire the guy's brilliance, his huge mustache that I aspire to grow, and even his bald spot. Plus, he's played by my favorite actor who happens to be a Canadian legend in the live action Sonic movies. So I would yeah. like to admire the man's work rather than face the death with it. And besides, I may not be physically built. So for the chili dogs, I mean, despite the ugh, acid reflex story, which I can understand that from someone else, I know that. But honestly, I'm not really a sausage person, not just to like be ahead of what that I just like uh, slice ham. But I do admit, putting it on chili with beans and cheddar cheese, jalapenos or whatever type of condiments you can use. Chili dogs, they're not my mm. go to meal, but they're yummy whenever I think of songs like, you know what? Have a chili dog, eat with the hedgehog, and just play some lo-fi Green Hill music in the background. Or some like Unleashed oh, music yeah. if you want to be more cool. So, chili dogs. Mm, nice. Uh, I would have to join uh, Kelvin and Glit. It's a, uh, for that, I'd make that up. Uh, I would throw hands with Dr. Eggman. And if he wants to bring out more badniks, I'll bash him up. <laughs> Real good. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. I did not say I was going to fight Eggman. I said I'd walk up to his base, say I'm built different, <laughs> poorly, and run away. Yeah, while he's running, away, I'm running behind, like, I got this, don't worry. Yeah, I got you. Yep. We, got, we got this, man. I'm built like an incomplete Lego set, and I will be the pieces to the problem. I do not care. Yeah, Glitch, I love that. Like that. <laughs> I love that, and I'm stealing that. What? That's brilliant. <laughs> like you are welcome. I'm, I'm built like an incomplete Lego set, and I will be the pieces to the problem. <laughs> yep. I mean, maybe we should like go to the uh, to the Lego world and broke into pieces and then rebuild our stuff again. <laughs> Lego world's well, pretty you know, cool if though. We're, if we're Legos and you step on us, it's going to be painful. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the absolutely most deadly weapon. Yeah. All right. Anyways, I don't want to waste uh, time. I'm, uh, I thank you guys for having me up. Also, yeah, scribble in the chat. He is built different. Man, literally slammed Starline to the ground. That's true. See you later, nutty squirrel. Like Eggman can throw hands. He just doesn't do it often because he doesn't need to. If he pile drives me, there's a possibility he could realign my spine and fix it. So it's a risk I'm willing to take. Ah! He'll probably turn you into a robot yeah. or something. All right. Um, Kevin, do you want to bring up the next audience member? Yeah, I would BG Jedi. That was next. That was, uh, that was next to raise their hand. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. Uh, you are correct on that. You are correct on that. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, but, um... Uh, uh, but, uh, but yeah, uh, but yeah, hi, uh, uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> You're good. Uh, but, uh, but, 
but yeah, hi Cass. How, uh, but yeah, hi Cass. How's everybody doing for the night? Yeah, well. How are you? Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, okay. You can only have one taste for the rest of your life. Would you rather have sweet or sour? Sweet. Ooh. Sweet. Sweet honey. Uh, hmm. uh, Tangle's addiction to sugar is my addiction to sugar. Sweet. All the way. Of course. Sweet. Tasting chocolate yeah. after Willy Wonka. Yeah, I'm guess is sweet as well. I tend to uh, like sour candies more, like sour gummy worms and lemon heads and other stuff like that. So I'm gonna go sour. That doesn't surprise me it. even a little bit about you. <laughs> I like yeah, sweets, but like sour candies seven. are just I don't know. It's a challenge to them. Look, if I if I only so had sour. the ability Sweet. to taste sour, I feel like I would live my life in disappointment every time I try something new, expecting it to be expecting something grand. I'll just get this sour kick, and I'll just hate life. I mean, most fruits are sour. It's just certain ripeness that makes them sweet. So technically, we mm. always eat kind of sour, bitter things. That is true. That's fair. But also, I'm built different, poorly. That is okay. We'll find the pieces. But, but, but yeah, but yeah, I would agree with most of you. Sweet, like, <laughs> like I, like, uh, for, uh, for me, uh, for me, I can't really. I, I, I can't really handle ha- handle sour stuff like so. So no, so no, so sweets like an easy answer. But yeah, say no to sour patch kids. Uh, no, yeah, no, I <laughs> uh, no, uh, no, not even sour patch kids. Like no, I can eat a whole <laughs> bag by myself in one <laughs> sitting. It's That's not what recommended. Life gives you lemons. Hey, look. Four hours <laughs> We can always make we can always make lemonade with sour, like dude. Uh, but uh, but uh, it's but not yeah, good lemonade that- unless you put some sugar in it. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely not. Depending Just if it's Brazilian sure it's lemonade, the only sugar is the condensed milk. So I guess that counts. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I guess so. Uh, but, uh, well, uh, well, all right. I won't. Ke- uh, well, I won't keep you guys for long. Uh, uh, I, I okay. Yeah. I won't keep you guys for long. Uh, and, 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 just, and just enjoy the rest, the rest of your night. Enjoy the rest of the panel. See you later, guys. See ya. Hey, the hey, hey, you with you. Always. Hello. All right. <laughs> General Kenobi. Anyway, uh, Leah, I think it was Alec that had her hand uh, raised next. All right, Alice, come on up. Hey, Alice. Um, it, I don't know how long it has been since I have last call since I have last been called up here but hello hey welcome back hope you doing well (laughs) I do Um, hope y'all doing well too so um here's my would you rather question so um would you rather be on team Sonic or be on team Dark ooh that's easy Hmm. It's easy for me. I'll say Team Sonic. Yeah. <laughs> Obligatory answer, but pretty valid. Team Dark all the way. Mm. Look, I will say Team Dark, and it's for one reason alone. They desperately need comic relief. <laughs> they do. Yeah, that's and valid. I feel like they I do. Provide that. That's valid. I thought the robot they was the laughing they joke. They need the gremlin energy. And I Being provide. a help to them? I don't know. But at least I'll be funny. <laughs> you know what? That's valid. Mm-hmm. Again, I dumped all my stats into charisma, but I can break Mood, like a twig. Same. It's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, I think for the same, I think we're gonna have to concur with Kelp a hundred percent. Uh, my real life like aesthetic is Team Dark. I wear a lot of black, and I love the goth aesthetic. Let's go. But you must have loved Tim Burton's yeah. movies. I do actually, um, but I. Nice. It shouldn't surprise anybody about me, but uh, yeah, I would just have to go Team Dark one for the aesthetic and two to be the comic relief. They need somebody funny to balance them out. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, just to be fair, since there's a lot of praise for Team Dark, just because, you know, gothic energy can really goes up with the angsty youth, I will have to go with Mr. Needle Mouse, Swiper the Fox, and Nipples the Enchilada. Why? Because they're an iconic trio, too. Obviously, they're the main ones that started all in the 90s that every single media, from games to TV shows, well, shows for the most part, comic books, and now live-action movies just shows the center of them as a friend. And for Team Dark, they're based, too, but I kind of wish there was more acknowledgement outside of games and comic books and show more of that than just, you know, Shadow or Rouge being split. So, gotta go with Team Blue Blur. Mm. Take mm. the Team Sonic. <laughs> yeah, uh, just to be 50-50 and tag along with Andrew on this. Although, Wait. to be fair, more than, oh. I, I want to hang out with Tails more than anybody else. I really just want to hang out with the Fox Kid. So, I, it, I'm pretty torn on this one. Hey, I'm I'm so with you there on that. Mm. I just like Knuckles. He's funny, but also stoic. Uh, how about you, Glitch Kitten? Are you going to break the 50-50 tie? Oh, yeah. I think uh, said Team Dark, didn't I? Oh. I think she did, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah she oh, said oh, Team Dark. Okay. Glitch Kitten, did you die? Did she oh, literally no. glitch? Oh. Literally glitch. Oh, no. Yeah, fair. Oh, did she literally glitch? Do you need a scroll mm -hmm. over Vivify? Yeah, I'm going to data. I don't think nope, that any of us... the internet just like Vanellope Von Sweets <laughs> and Wreck-It Ralph 2. Kelp, I don't think that any of us here are clerics. I don't think any of us can cast that. I mean, I can cast Vicious Mockery. I don't think that that helps. Not 20, let's go. <laughs> I can also cast Vicious Mockery. But neither of us can revivify the poor girl. No, no, it's, it's fine. Oh, oh no! Well, I I think either she stepped away or her and that died. So while while we're waiting for her to come back, I, 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 there, there she is. is. Did it work now? Oh, oh, there she is. Died. Oh no! <laughs> you did, 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 I'm you not a doctor. I say as doctor is literally in my name. Mm -hmm. uh, did you answer the question or not yet? Uh, was it the Team Sonic Team Dark one? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, she said yeah. Team Dark. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For, yeah. They need a gre they need gremlin sassy energy. Yeah, for, for yeah, the same they reason they killed that in. Relief, yeah. and I will do that. As for everything else, I probably will not be an asset. I will not be a help. I will cause collateral damage, <laughs> but I will at least be funny. Funny yeah. collateral yeah. damage is the best. Yeah, collateral collateral damage. Damage. It's yeah. true. Yo, funny while doing it. And to be entirely true. frank, what? When you're dealing with Team Dark, there's always collateral damage. Shadow Omega doesn't care. Really wants to destroy everything. Omega definitely doesn't. Yeah, Omega but definitely doesn't care. But to so be it, fair, it, with it's, it, it fits the vibe. I'm just saying, but to be fair, without the existence of Team Sonic, there will be no Team Dark if Team Sonic did not start at all. In the beginning. That, that is true. true. Yeah, that true. Be the type of guy who so would that go just means Team Dark has to, to do better. I'd be the yeah. type of guy who would go up to Omega and say, you know what? I'm feeling like a good old fashioned B and E, and he would say bacon and eggs. To which I would reply, breaking and entering. And the thing, and the thing is, like Rouge would say, "Bet, let's go." Oh, oh yeah. absolutely. She's like, as long as there's a gem for me to steal, I can do that. And then Shadow would be so done with all of us, and he'd just be like, "Why do I hang around you?" You're just sitting in the corner, <laughs> crunching on coffee, like that. <laughs> These coffee beans aren't enough for these idiots. <laughs> Down to Red Bull. <laughs> oh, come on, Shadow. You know you're happy. No, I'm not. <laughs> All right. Thank you for your question, yeah, thank Alice. Thank you for your question, Alice. It's no problem. Okay. Uh, I, I'll be late I, for the tea party. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, how about one, one more, Leah, and then we'll do some more initial questions. Oh yeah, um, Raider raised his hand. You want me? Oh, to okay, yeah, yeah, we can call him up. Because I know you said you wanted to. to yeah, early. I know he had his hand raised before. Finally here. Hey, welcome. Sorry for missing my first time. I'm, no I'm sorry. I literally stepped out to grab my uh, grab water, and then as soon as I knew it, oh, whoops! That was a. I, I should have put my hand down. Well, that's that's my fault. Um, just giving context to what happened. Sorry about that. Uh, but yes, I'm here, and um, I'm pretty sure my question is going to be a little bit evil, unfortunately. <laughs> mm. hey, let's oh, go. Oh, 
I'm going to do something I never would have thought I would have done this time around. I'm going to pit little guy versus little guy. Now tell me, tell me, all you wonderful people, would you rather own a wisp or a chow? Chow. Oh, chow. Easy. No, chow. 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 Easily a chow. Yeah. It could be very marketable, but also their gardens. Let Guns the wisps beautiful. go. They've been prisoners for so long. They deserve it. That, that's a good yeah. They really thinking. need to go. They need to go yeah. back to their planet to be and be held happy. around. They yeah. want to just yeah. live on their planet and vibe. Let them do that. Let take them, them out of the guns. Take them out of the boxes. They're, they're, not really. they're, just, let them be. they're pretty yeah. slimy. Yeah. yeah. Let them, them have their Squidward rave. They need it desperately. Yeah. Well, <laughs> also, look at the chow. They're just little guys. They're so it's cute. True. They have floating donuts. Yeah, very some of them. Plus, they're we already have experience raising them. And if right? We know how they work. To hurt them, I will find you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We already know how they work. There's animals they love. They already are acclimated here. It's like a win-win. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Look at the chow on the pogo stick and tell me that you wouldn't uh, protect. Tell me it that you would, baby. What? All right. It, it, it looks like they all agree. Ciao. <laughs> I don't know to click it, but yes, well, thank you for your question, Radar. Right <laughs> yes. Easy. That one backfired on myself. I forget I'm surrounded by 2000s fans. Yeah, <laughs> I like yeah, the wisps, unlike a lot of disrespect. People. However, <laughs> we however the wisps deserve their freedom, not to be forced. Wisps deserve to be their freedom. Else. There's they no do, reason yeah. for them to still be here. Like genuinely, there's no reason. Yeah. They chose to be on Earth. They chose to they be used as weaponry when they were literally against that in colors. Yeah. Yeah. So That's the thing good. is, it's a lie and make it make sense. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm gonna, refrain, I'm gonna refrain from the lore and I'm gonna leave now. I'm gonna refrain <laughs> from the lore and I'm gonna leave now. Thank you. Hashtag set them free. Set them free. <laughs> they don't so it, me. The, the other thing is that the wisps seem to be uh yeah. I, I don't want to say more intelligent than uh the ch- the chows seem more like pets than the wisps. The wisps seem yeah. more like they are like fully like, intelligent yeah, creatures. Yeah, so like they seem if, very aware of what's yeah, going on, whereas chows so are if, more dependent. It, so if they choose to be here and help, great, incredible. Like whispers, whispin, whispers, wisps choose to be here, great, incredible. Mm-hmm. But they are not her pets; they are her friends. Yeah, I'm not gonna treat them as yeah. a pet. That's like exactly the chows are pets. Of wrong. The yeah, chows are pets. The question is to have one as a pet. It's got to be a chow. It's got to be a chow. It has to be a chow right, because I don't want to have a Google Translate or iPad just to understand my aliens' language to translate. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. But also, I like, chows go through, like, infancy, baby stages. Like, they go through, like, you know, as a child would grow. They're dependent, whereas yeah. wisps are not dependent on us. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. The I wisps love the make wisp their own choices. Yeah. I love the vibe of the wisps. Hey, they're living proof that a Squidward rave would be the best thing ever. But at the same time... Let them have their own Squidward rave. They don't need yeah, to. Yeah, let them let them live in peace. Like they've been supporting oh, us for delicious. so long now. Like they when do they get to get a break? The whole story in colors is that they're being literally captured to be used as energy vessels. Yeah, their for planet is being torn apart space. and harvested and emptied out. They're being used for brainwashing liquid. Why? <laughs> Why are they okay with this? <laughs> Yes. Oh, all right. So let's um, let's move on to the next. Would you rather? So, would you rather drive a motorcycle or drive a car? Car. Ooh. Motorcycle, Psycho, baby. I already drive a car. I would like to try a motorcycle. I already drive a car. I would like, like to try a motorcycle. Bike. Hell yeah, bike. Car, because I'm a stickler for safety, and I don't trust myself with a motorcycle. Yes, <laughs> um, motorcycle. I mean, yeah, That's a car for safety, cool. but for motorcycles, I could go fast as long as there's no traffic lanes and then just play some good old ACDC or Crush 40 when I'm jamming out to the bike. Oh, don't get um, me wrong. I jam to sonic music in the car, but I'm oh, in yeah, a totally. car. I'm yeah, not be curious about it. I'm at least trained on a car. I don't know how to work a motorcycle, and I don't think I ever would. Mm. My uh, parents Ciao. both, or my mother used to drive a motorcycle. And uh, she gave it up when she had kids. And I want nothing more than to be a motorcyclist like my mom. That is a thing that I want. 
Sounds like a pretty hardcore origin fun. story. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, if my mom could afford it, she probably would own one already. <laughs> I would not put it past her. <laughs> mm, very interesting. Um, Kevin, do you want to read the next one? Oh, okay. I'll probably read the. Oh yeah, I'll probably just read the next one since Kevin seems to be AFK. Do it. Do yeah. it. Would you rather? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat, would you rather eat chocolate desserts or eat any fruit flavored desserts? Chocolate. Oh, that's chocolate. Yeah, there's chocolate. Um, yeah, there's chocolate. chocolate. I have Damn. a severe, severe chocolate addiction. When I was younger, like an actual serious addiction to the point where if I didn't have enough chocolate in a day, I would get a really bad headache. Oh my God. Um, it, it's really bad. I have a really bad addiction to chocolate. I will choose whenever it is chocolate or anything else, I will choose chocolate every time. No questions asked chocolate yeah i have got it's like a chocolate. chocolate thing as well i i love eating chocolate when i was a kid i would have i actually had chocolate with my breakfast <laughs> so i love um, that for you mm -hmm. so yeah chocolate for me would be my pick mm. oh, in chocolate. the words of michael chocolate. rosen mm, i love my mom's chocolate cake yes i mean don't get me wrong i love my fruity taste buds especially on fruit popsicles, but if I need something sweet, whether it's original milk, white chocolate, or my personal favorite, dark chocolate, or chocolate mint if you prefer it on ice cream or on your coffee drinks. But however, chocolate's like the sweet taste of nostalgia, which is pretty much what these people say, love as a kid, and leave it love as a grown adult, just make sure you don't pass gas or uh, have your teeth pull out just because you have so much chocolate in your teeth. That's why you never mm. have chocolate like this, like in Willy Wonka's factory. Mm. Chocolate. Every time. Chocolate! No, I'm just kidding. Every time. Every single yes. time. Chocolate. Um, I don't like chocolate. chocolate? <laughs> I don't chocolate. really like chocolate. I can't eat chocolate. I don't like chocolate. Um, I actually always preferred strawberry as a kid for like milk and stuff like that. Or blueberry. Weird. Um, I like fruits way more, especially dark berries. Um, I used to like chocolate when I was younger. But chocolate... Um, a made me sick um oh. and b it kind of makes your face break out um and i was i don't Not know wrong though yeah for me the the cons were bigger than the pros because chocolate itself was so sweet it would hurt my teeth and mm. i didn't have like cavities or anything it just was too much and my teeth were sensitive um but fruit <laughs> and other stuff like that didn't do that um so I started slowly leaning away from eating anything chocolate, which was a lot healthier for me, and then started just going to fruits. So I'd say fruit flavored stuff for that. Mm, okay, yeah, that's understandable. Mm. Less risk on cavities on a wisdom tooth. Really. Woohoo! <laughs> God, I had all four of my wisdom teeth removed the same day. I oh, 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 yeah, same here. I'm here. Not fun. I still <laughs> I had all four pulled out as well. <laughs> oh my god, the same day I too. I still need it! <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that was like, Listen. they spaced mine out, so I had two done at some other day, then two another day. So yeah. Oh, Lucky you. I mean, I didn't feel in. anything in the, like, after coming out of it and stuff like that. Supposedly, I was just really quiet for a week. I went right back to work the next day, by the way. <laughs> I didn't my, even rest. And I moved teeth. that same weekend. <laughs> oh no. Whoa, you bet you're alive, guys. I was my loopy, but I was just like, I'm gonna make in, And I high. will not have them removed unless they cause a problem for me. That's fair. Yes. Not, yeah, that's, that's, fair. that's the best way to go about it, it it's honestly. It's expensive as crap to do it, and I'm sorry, but like, you know, I know what you I know what you do. I know those dentists. I know yeah, how they work. Yeah, yeah. They want oh, to get yeah, that money out of you. Okay. They're gonna tell you you need to get it out, but if it doesn't cause a pro uh, cause a problem, don't worry about it. My mm -hmm. dad has yeah. never had his wisdom teeth removed. He never had a problem with them, still has them to this day. I'm living yeah. like yeah. that. That's good yeah. to do, yeah. That's I mean, fair. I had a problem That's with mine. So. Fair, fine. But if it doesn't, yeah. no. Don't touch yeah, it. Yeah, I'm with Dr. Cup on this. It's either that, or in this case, I have to go to over my phobias. Needle shots for my veins. Oh, Scream dude, don't even there. get me started yeah. on needles. Do not. Yeah, needles stuck. Yeah. I have <laughs> I have trauma yeah. related to needles. Not going well, yeah. to do yeah, my, my wisdom teeth had like a, a cavity growing and it started having this massive pain. So I was like in like uh, massive pain in my head and everything for a while. So I had to have it removed. 
Mine was impacting, so it was squashing my jaw together. As oh. the the two in the back, they were pushing the the my other teeth to the front, which was causing like headaches, migraines, stuff like that. So I was like, yeah. now I have to get them removed. But then they were like, we're gonna remove the top two also, and I was like, for what? Like they're not <laughs> doing anything, and they're like, well, they're starting to turn, like they're starting to do the same thing your bottom teeth were doing. I was like, oh, oh I don't want that. <laughs> I definitely don't want that again. Yeah, take them out. Alrighty, it's a once lifetime deal. That's all that matters. True. Alrighty. True. Alrighty. Unless you bring them back again. Oh, no. Alrighty. Alrighty. Kevin, um, do you want to read the next one since I read two? Since you were. Uh, always- um, yeah, so I had to stop away and get, get the modern order. All right. Would you rather have spring season all year round or have summer season all year round? Ooh. Oh, pff, spring Ooh. season. Florida heat is horrible. I feel <laughs> you on that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Spring. Spring is more pretty. Unless and before any of you pollen. say pollen, which is valid, I get it. Yeah. I would say spring just because spring to me is the best season. I love spring and there's a reason for it. Spring is the season of renewal. Spring is the season of new beginnings. It is from from like just from the message it gives off. I love spring because it's like mm. it symbolizes new beginnings, fresh start. There's nothing more positive than that. Got to go with spring every time. Not Summer's great. Kidding. But that heat Summer is pretty good. As a, as a former Floridian, ooh boy. Oh no. <laughs> it, it feels like it feels like you're like in somebody's mouth when you're outside. Like you can't even walk outside for five minutes. Like, all right, that's it. I'm going inside. Yeah, if you walk it's outside, no joke. Work, it's oh, muggy yeah. over there. Oh yeah. yeah. And as, as a Jordan, oh, I feel that. Yeah. Well, it's because like there's marshlands over there, aren't isn't there? Like swampland and, and marshes. Yeah, and it, like it gets very humid down there, which makes yeah. it worse. I am uh, I'm adjusted to the heat in uh, Texas uh, because I lived out there for a while. So like I was I was adjusted to summers reaching like 112 sometimes. Um, And Arizona heat is scarier. I'm not going to fault that Um, because they they have it where you can't actually leave your plastic bins out there because they melt into the concrete. Your cars, too. You can't have them parked outside during the summer. They have to be in garages. Um, because the tires themselves will melt into the concrete. It's really bad. Um, I, I, I've been in Texas heat, and it, it felt more like dry heat. I mean, it, it was yeah, hot. It's but- dry heat. It's not humid. It's just dry, stagnant air heat. That's what it is. Oh, yeah. Um, but I'd say I'd say spring for that, and it kind of depends where. Some places are like just rainy the whole time, and you never see the sun. But other places, you'll see like cherry blossoms and stuff like that, and it's really pretty. Like out here, we have a few. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go with spring too. All right, uh, Leah. How about we do two more, and then we'll go back to the audience. I'll ask you. I'll, ask you, I'll let you ask question number nine. And I'll ask question number ten. Okay. Would you rather celebrate Halloween all year round or celebrate Christmas all year round? Easy, easy, done. Christmas. Halloween all the way. Halloween. I'll go for Christmas. Oh. Not surprised from a goth chick, so I expected that. So rude, but true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, for a girl that simply is like, oh, I like Tim Burton movies, I'm like, yeah, you're definitely a Halloween freak. Well, Corin said night. that. Corin said yeah, that. that. I was, like that was some me. of their movies. I'd say mm-hmm. I'm more like the uh, casual, like, punk guy. You have asked me an impossible question. Um, because Christmas is my thing. I love Christmas. Like, the entirety of December, I'm just so freaking happy because the holidays just make me so happy. However, mm. I am a cosplayer. And if you give me an excuse to wear freaking cosplay clothes out in public, I will take it every single time. So this is a question that is impossible for me to answer. In my family, Halloween is Christmas. Like Halloween is Christmas for us. We go nuts for the entire month. Um, The house is completely decked out. The entire family is scaring the heck out of each other. Um, we're wearing costumes all the time. We're getting all the best candy. The movies are running, baking cookies. We have a Halloween tree. It's literally covered in skulls and body parts. It's crazy. Um, Incredible. We go Might nuts. as well celebrate Halloween on Christmas then, on December to be exact. We've done it. <laughs> like, we've done it. We had the Grinch like hanging upside down on the tree at one point. <laughs> That is um, genius. I would have loved to have seen that in person. It was <laughs> for the really, really fun. I loved it. Um, I'd say Halloween probably I'm is embedded in me due to my like 
my mom definitely because my mom's huge into horror um and also my stepdad who decided you know what's really fun for the kids hide under their bed call them into the hallway and as soon as they step onto the floor grab them by the ankles and yank them under the bed <laughs> while they have to sleep <laughs> i've never hit the ground so like it, it was instantaneous my mom calls me i step out they grab my ankle i was onto the floor immediately and it was like the shortest scream and then disappeared under the bed and you just see me flailing <laughs> oh man good times honestly good times <laughs> Try to tell yes. tail. Look. Uh, how about you andrew um yeah i picked christmas because I, I like the magical warmth feeling uh getting cozy in your you know your room your bed you know with the snowy vibes and christmas movies it's just it's just such a nice feel good you know, atmosphere. It just, mm. you know, I mean, Halloween is fun too, but Christmas for me is like, you know, there's that warmth, cozy feeling I get every, every Christmas. <laughs> hey, Lutton, if you all ever come to where, if you ever come to where I am, I'll take you to like all the Christmas events here. Like we really go out and it's great. Mm. Mm. Cozy. All right. So, uh, last one before the audience. Uh, before Wait, we I didn't audience. even get to respond to my answer yet. Oh, I'm trying. Go ahead, Daniel. I was going to say, it's like, did Diet Dr. Kelp answer his nope. response to it? No, he didn't. I don't know. think he did. I was yeah, going to say, it's, like, it's me and him. We were the only ones that didn't respond to I'm the question. Right. Yeah, go ahead, uh, uh, Daniel. Yeah, I will go first. So even though, yeah, Halloween is definitely fun. And even though, okay, one PSA, if, okay, this will never happen in this call or anything else. Anyone dares to watch a horror movie with me, it's like, the best way to fight your fears, you have to reignite and mimic the lines of Pennywise to Jason to Freddy Cougar to Chucky the Doll. Once when I impersonate the characters and basically just freak them out, that's where you want to stay away from me. Just make sure I don't carry a knife in front of you. So I'd rather stick with Christmas. I mean, obviously, it's more festive and like what Andrew says, that warm feeling. And obviously, my cult religion, I must watch that, that, the Grinch who stole Christmas yes, every single let's year. Go, tradition. <laughs> Because first of all, it's my favorite Christmas movie. Secondly, it's in my top 10 favorite Jim Carrey movies of all time. So I got to include that. And thirdly, I love seeing the Grinch at Universal Orlando. So that's my spirit animal because obviously I hate it, hate, 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 hate. I love the things when it comes to annoyance for people. But outside of that, the nostalgia for the Christmas caroling and obviously Christmas has arguably has the more iconic songs. Like obviously for Halloween, you got Thriller for Michael Jackson, you got Monster Mash and Night Before Christmas and a lot of horror movies, but Christmas has the more iconic festivities. And let's not forget, since this is a Sonic Eggman Revolution panel, let's not forget that this year is the only exception that we're getting a Sonic the Hedgehog movie being released in the holidays this year rather than October. You know, but Christmas as a whole is like, I love the holiday treats. I love the gifts. I love the holiday movie marathon. So we'll definitely have to go with that. Who responds, Dashi? Thank you. Grinch, favorite Christmas movie. We're definitely discounting the Illuminations version. The live action movie is better. But the point is, yeah, I'm a Christmas freak when it comes to that. I had a worrisome thought. If we're getting that Sonic 3 movie for Christmas, what exactly is Shadow receiving for Christmas? Or are we just going to? It no. was the art ignore Christmas that. gift. Okay, we're gonna just the ignore Christmas it. gift. Got it. The art was the Christmas. Sad Christmas gift is basically, uh, you know, the gift that keeps Maria on giving. Di Drama. Nope. Got it. <laughs> yeah, Maria dying, and that's the mm -hmm. case, and then sacrifice itself. But don't worry, probably a spinoff show for Paramount Plus if they ever greenlight that in 2025. I don't like this holiday cheer you're spreading right now. <laughs> Too bad, so sad. Get used to it with the sappiness. No. Yes. Anyway, um, right. next question. It's yeah, Diet Turn. Yeah, Kelp, Kelp, still here. Oh yeah, um, right. You go ahead, Doctor Kelp. So first of all, Merry Hala Chris Mahana Kwanzik Easter to Love everyone. It. Winter source. So there you go. There's all there's all the ones that I can think of in one. Have fun with it. So he basically um, just mashed it up like a hybrid. Yes. I keep forgetting. Merry Hala Chris Mahana Kwanzik Easter. Keister. <laughs> There you go. Right, Qua anyway, Kwanzaa um, and Easter, is that the combination? This, it's a tough question, but I gotta say Christmas, just because Christmas is the perpetual season of giving, the amount of warmth, the <laughs> amount of joy, it's it's always so much fun to, to be around people you care about, and Christmas then also leads right into New Year's, which again is a season of new beginnings and things like that, and so it's like, you know, Christmas as a whole is just, I, I love Christmas, 
I mean, granted, I don't want to celebrate Christmas all year round because I feel like that would kind of ruin the magic. But if I were to choose a holiday to pick, probably Christmas. However, I would get bored very fast and switch to Halloween. But um, I would say, um, yeah, Christmas has so many memories, uh, even more than Halloween. I mean, Halloween has a lot of great memories. I love Halloween. Um, I'm numb to horror movies now. They just don't get me anymore because all of them rely on jump scares and none of them are actually truly unsettling. Save for a few. There's been a few in recent years that have actually been kind of uns- more unsettling type horror. And it's like, hey, this is better. Do this. Um, but I would say, uh, you know, and also with Christmas movies, I mean, my 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 goat is uh, Home Alone. I love Home Alone, the first one. It's just mm. Home Alone is the greatest Christmas movie for me. I love it. It's so good. As for the Grinch, I do like the live action. However, I got to prefer the original animated version. That one is just my. That's what most people would agree on. I, I, I love Chuck that Jones one. It's, it's a timeless classic for a reason. That being said, I do like the live action. Um, Klaus is also a really good Christmas movie. Mm, um, a great, great fun one. Yep. Yeah. And recently, in, in recent years, I mean, you got the holdovers. That recently came out. That was great. Um, but anyway, I would say, yeah, for me, Christmas until I get bored and then Halloween. Mm. it's a good thing you acknowledge home alone and ignore the sequels mine is loss of new york look home alone and home alone 2 are the only ones that exist Dear. speaking my language ignore everything three, doesn't ignore everything else doesn't movies. exist it, or it should not wave off the cannon yes clear the cannon it's only one and two <laughs> that is true all right uh would you rather hang out with tangle or sonic oh corn i gotta hear this answer to i gotta corn and andrew i definitely gotta hear this answer to this one uh, question great question because look tangle is just me turned up to 100 right um i don't know if the world could handle two tangles in the same room <laughs> oh it can't i don't yeah i don't know if that would be a good idea for literally anybody Beca- the world literally single handedly implode on itself. I'm I fear that genuinely. Um a lot of the stories that I tell as Tangle are just my own stories. Like things that have happened or things that I have done but I put it in Sonic's world with a girl who's got a uh a ridiculous tale that gets her into trouble. Um it's so I think I have to go with Sonic. Because I'm less likely to destroy the world. Hmm. Very interesting answer. How about you, you, Andrew? I'm very curious to hear this one. Well, uh, I think it would be fun to hang with Sonic and everything, but I'm going to have to actually choose Tangle. <laughs> um, I, th- I think Tangle would be um, an interesting person to hang with, and I think uh, I can have I a lot her. of fun. Yeah, I, I think you can have a lot of fun with Tangle. But with Sonic, he's got a bit of an ego thing, you know what I mean? So I definitely would say, yeah, Tangle. Tangle would be my choice. Although, to be fair, uh, you make a good point, Andrew, uh, the ego thing with Sonic. And Tangle yeah. is intensely perceptive and just really good at matching somebody's energy. So I don't yeah. know. I truly don't. Maybe I do want to hang out with Tangle. Maybe I do want to explode the world. That sounds like fun, actually. <laughs> Reject the world and more <laughs> destruction. It gets the world. How about you, Kyle? Oh, it's Tangle, 100%. Just because Tangle is Corrin amped up to 11,000, and Corrin is a joy to be around, so I would definitely pick Tangle. You. That being said, Sonic is a vibe. I love Sonic. He's great. But he's definitely more mellow, and I'm very energetic and Tangle is extremely energetic and spunky, and I love it. And she is just, yeah, I would pick Tangle every time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how about you? All the wild stuff you could do with Tangle. Like, that's oh, cool. Yeah. Your tail is a slingshot to send yourself flying. That would be fun as hell. Can't, I can't lie. That'd be so fun. You could make yourself the angry bird. <laughs> make yourself oh, the ironic. angry bird. Collateral yeah. damage, schmalateral damage. Please, who needs, who needs to worry about collateral damage? That's part of the fun! Of course! You, launch me, and the rest of you, play double time. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Quitkin? Um, 
probably Tangle. I just feel like we'd have the same energy, so it would be a lot of fun. She would probably be very adventurous to hang out with, so I think she'd be a lot of fun. Go Manic. Go Feral, even. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Exactly that. Hey, uh, how about you, Daniel? So it's either hang out with the lemur or the blue hedgehog, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm guessing everyone chose the lemur, right? Yes. 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 Like, literally, yeah. like literally everyone, even Andrew himself, choose the lemur over the blue hedgehog. Yeah. <laughs> I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The only lemur that I would tolerate is freaking, uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can't even say it. King Julian from Madagascar in a Dreamers a movie. That's kind of like saying if I want to choose a kangaroo from an animated movie called Australia. But all joking aside, um, full disclosure: when I first heard about the existence of Tango Whisper, I'm like, wait, wh- who's this character? Is she from a game? Like, oh, comic books. Look. Even though this is coming from a guy that reads comic books about superheroes like every other nerd does, but I'm like, oh, so for, this is like connects the video game lore. For Tango, I'm like, okay, for my knowledge for what I've known, fun, spunky, the tail's very useful, but I'm sorry, I'm gonna be the unpopular opinion, and this is gonna be cliche. I gotta go with Sonic, because not because he's the main character, because aside from his fun energy and basically, you know, having his philosophy that he goes through like meaningful inspirational moments that he talked to pretty much to tales to any of the other characters like sonic of the black knight i feel like sonic definitely has a good representation of being a good role model while tango is too but i feel like sonic has the more experience like he's definitely more on the veteran territory where you can aspire Absolutely. to look up to so it's more like yeah i mean it's not because i'm a fake fan of not connected with tango that much but obviously connect more with sonic that much because obviously you can vibe with the dude like in any certain ways both on the fun but also on the personal level <laughs> with, oh, yeah, with yeah, all yeah. the love in the world to tangle tangle has no idea what she's doing and i say that because tangle is me turned up to 11 and i have no idea what i'm doing basically when you look yeah, at her um, page this lemur's ava, literally me ava brings out a really good point danger close just means we're closer to the fun oh ava, i'm not close to understand? the danger oh i'm not close to the danger the danger is close to me. <laughs> mm, very interesting. Very yeah, interesting. Very interesting answer. I, I will say this, Corn Tango, in my mind, has always had been like one of the characters that could be under the character you can hang out with for today. That's just so that type I, of character. Before auditioning for Rivu, Rivu, Rivo, I knew legitimately nothing about Sonic. Zero things. Um, I was just looking. I knew nothing. I was just, I'm an actor. So I was looking for things to act in. And I read Tangle's description. I was like, oh, that, that looks like fun. Cool. Let's go. Um, then I started reading the comics and I went, oh, cool. I have accidentally stumbled into me. I have stumbled into my kin. Great. Well, guess I'm going to destroy this panel now. Bye. There you go. <laughs> she definitely take over the lemur spirit. And she did not like to move it, move it like Moto Moto. <laughs> All right. Shall we call up the next audience member? Yeah, I I think it was Dino Kaiju who was next. Uh, Leah, if you wanted to call him out. All right, Dino, come on up. Hello. Hi. Hey, Dino. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> anyway hey guys how you guys doing it's good it's good yeah i'm all right not too bad not too bad i'm doing great except for when i'm in the future in which purpose yes yes oh, because when you talk oh, about no, when you no. uh, the rules uh daniel is that when you talk about the future if you are from the future when you talk about the future discord automatically cuts out because we're not allowed to talk about the future um, right, it's because it, it automatically mutes speaking you. Speaking through Kelp's voice, would like to tell you that the future, ha- like that. So basically, there it goes again. So yeah, AI is going to take over our and jobs in twenty thirty. Oh yeah, yeah what, show what, is what, already so, so let I ju- I just want I'm to be clear. Animals. We are. It is now canon that Kelp, not Silver, Kelp is from the future. I just want no, to be clear. Silver that's what we're saying right now. Kelp and Shadow voice and Kelp. Yeah. Oh, that's, all, that's, that's right. That's right. That's right. Reality is an illusion. The universe right. is a hologram by gold. You're right. Line. Real hoverboard. You're correct. Yeah. Uh, Sonic is uh, voicing Andrew HVA with a British accent. That's oh, true. Sonic does a really good British accent. <laughs> yeah, thanks for it. I guess. 
Um, oh, you know that? Anyway, what Anyways. was your question? <laughs> yes, what is your question? <laughs> no problem. Okay, okay, my question. Okay, <clears throat> so here's a fun one that I'm quite curious to hear from you guys. <clears throat> Say you are part of the Sonic Storybook series. So I have to ask, would you rather be in the Arabian Nights or... Medieval times. Ooh. That's a very good question. That's a As a history buff, that's this a really is very good one. hard for me. Sorry, I missed the question. I got interrupted. Uh, Arabian um, Night Sonic or uh, Medieval Times Sonic? Like, oh, if medieval. you were in the storybook series, would you rather be in the Arabian Nights or in the Times mm. of King Arthur from Black Knight? Mm. I'd be in times like, with this. A soldier, a king, and a poet. Olay, holay, ho lord. Look. I, as a massive, <laughs> as as a massive uh, fan of history, and I I love history to death. I love it. I would have to say, probably the Arabian Nights because there's just so much more stories. Oh yeah, like, I agree. I mean, they're literally like just, a thousand, just... a thousand and one like Arabian Nights or something. Like it was because like the the his the history behind it is like it was all stories that were told to keep like the 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 ruler enthralled so that it would keep that one person alive. And she told so many stories that it was enthralled him, And he could, he just couldn't stop because he needed to know what, like, what's the next one? What's the answer? What, what happens next? There's so many stories to tell. And so it just like every day mm. would be a new adventure. I would have to say the Arabian nights. That's a good oh, choice. Yeah, I, agree. And I think, I think for me, I would actually pick, uh, yeah, Sonic and the Black Knight, you know. I, I think I would actually like to run around with the sword and shield and wear that armor and slay dragons. I think I can see myself slaying a dragon, so I, yeah. I think it'd be fun. What about training one, huh? Well, uh, I, yeah, I mean, that right. I, could mm -hmm. I could try. <laughs> Thank right. you for nothing, you useless reptile. Oh my god, is that Hiccup from the hit that movie series How to Train Your Dragon? Dude, dude that That's was the really good. Of the guy who died and this is the end. Yes, I know. It's an occupational hazard, okay? I love your movie on She's Out of My League. You can look that up was Dude, that was real good. Um, I, I have been known to do a little hiccup impression from time to time. I don't do it much, but when I do it, it's fun. Incredible. Well, I love that for you. Movie. <laughs> oh, let's, uh, sure. I wonder how that, that's going to work. I'm very interested in how the dragons are going to be, because knowing me being loving creatures and all that, so I'm quite curious how the dragons are going to be handled with. Anyway, back to the topic. Uh, Corin, what would you? Uh, so Kelp's uh explanation of Arabian Nights, I can't argue with that. That's so good. But um, I have sword and shield training. I LARP. I do a uh, bunch of medieval time stuff. I know how to do that, and I've always kind of wanted to do that in real life and not in stage combat. So I have oh. to say the Camelot, to be able to actually use a sword for real. That sounds like fun. Oh. Mm. I can tell. Now all we need is uh, some a, a script from Monty Python for, and the Lost and the Search of the Holy Grail and it, it should be... <laughs> you huh. think I haven't done Monty Quite Python stuff? Funny. <laughs> <laughs> I love Monty <laughs> Python. I've done Spam a lot three times. I would do it again. <laughs> All right, she's uh, the glitch. holy hand grenade of Antioch. Always look it's on the, the bloody beast of life. Life. We are the knights who say, Ni. Uh, glitch. <laughs> yes, <laughs> uh, it would probably be a uh, black knight. Um, mm. running around with a sword and shield would be a lot of fun. You can pretty mm -hmm. much make your own adventures, fight dragons, mm. you know, go into different kingdoms. Find yeah. like old relics and you know stuff like that, and I think that's oh, really yeah, I cool. Can see that. Riding horses, you won't get a riding oh, horses, yeah. riding yeah. dragons, riding commanding dragons. steps. Dragons are just so. Oh, and magic! How could you forget the yeah, magic? magic. I've also yeah, magic. magic for everyone. Yeah, tiny core on BBC. Exploding all that other Tiny Corin wanted to be is a magical girl. All I've ever wanted is to be able to just do magic. Put me in a world where I can do magic and I am happy. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with That's that. That's understandable. Yeah, knowing that you of evil times. These mystical creatures like trolls and ogres from swamp. 
They are good target practice for spells. See, I'd be like Asta from Black Clover. I wouldn't be able to do any magic, but I would never give up. Oh, nice reference. My magic is never giving up. That is understandably so. Though yet, I still I still question how in the Arabian Nights there's a jungle full of dinosaurs. I don't know what story that is, but... Oh. Don't question it. Just it's, accept it's, it. it. Exactly. Yeah, it's, 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 every it's every yeah. day is a new adventure. I'd have to pick the Arabian yeah. Nights. It's just it's too obvious. Mm. The thing is, adventure. I can't argue. I can't argue with that. If it was anything other than mid, uh, medieval, y- your logic is sound. I can't argue with that. Yeah, no. Yeah. Um, how about you? Daniel? Very good you... answers there. I... Oh, sorry. You you, you said something. Uh, I just wanted to be sure. Have you answered, um, Daniel? Oh, oh have yeah. I? Well, I have. I did briefly mention it for a little bit just for the medieval times because, likewise, you could be in the mystical fantasy area where you have kings, queens, princes, princesses, if I want to pronounce that correctly. Um, Obviously, there's a Fortnite jousting match between the horses. Obviously, there's magic, wizards, sorcerers, all that stuff. And for Arabian Nights, they're cool. I mean, outside of Aladdin and Prince of Persia, it's just that in the desert, it gets very hot where basically your skin's going to burn and you're going to feel like fried chicken on an oven or something. But basically, definitely gone the medieval times and technically not just because it's more historical, it's a lot more magical to be a part of that world. So definitely go into the Black Knight medieval era, especially it's good for a lot of good drama shows on the BBC network. Mm. Uh, dang, everyone out here being Black Knight and I'm all like secret rings. Mm. Mm. You do it like mm. that, I guess. Besides, well, the songs of Black Knight are pretty make far from reborn. Reborn. True. Seven rings in hand and all that stuff. Let the speed mend it. All that stuff. Oh, all right. Um, uh, d- d- um, does that answer your question, Dino? <laughs> no, no, yeah, that pretty much answers my question. And uh, yeah, this is fun. It's probably my first time being in a Would You Rather panel in a way. So yeah, I think and, this uh, is our yeah, first one. Wanna, oh, well, I think there was one in the past. I think that was like the first panel of Rebo or something like that. I don't remember. That was like years ago. Then again, I wasn't here. Anyway, right. I should head back to the audience. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll yeah I'll talk to you guys later. And uh, yeah, have a good day or good night, I guess. Some dinosaur <laughs> bones. Bye, baby. <laughs> You're ready Bye, to like the dinosaur. Hold on to your butts. All right, Kevin, do you want to choose the next audience member? Yeah, uh, Rain Boom is next. Uh, come on up, Rain Boom. Ooh. <laughs> Hello there, everybody. How's, y'all? How's it going? Hey, Rain Boom. Hello. Doing good. How are you? Hello. Just finished Hello. eating cheese and crackers, literally. Oh my god, that's so good. I got too hungry in the panel. Nice. Well, anyway, um, I do have a would you rather question for you all. Um, would you rather watch cartoons or anime? <laughs> you can't do this to me. You can't. Uh, it's pretty rough. That's illegal. Actually, that's yeah, illegal. Just let the question. wave spoke about it first so they can, you know. Don't fantasize there. about it. Let the That's listen. illegal. Listen, listen, listen. That's illegal. Hear ye, hear ye. Ugh. Both are valid. Both are pretty good. Both are valid. Both are valid. Both are valid good. Both Y'all are, are good. making this too easy. So the I guess question no one's gonna make something too different. Is not to, the question should not be to watch one or the other. It should be to watch both. However, in this hypothetical scenario where we have to pick one. Gross. I gotta go with anime. Look now, as a massive animation enthusiast, I am with you on both of them. I love Ugh. cartoons. I do. And they're, they are timeless for a reason. My, I mean, like, I grew up on things like Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry is a timeless classic that I will recommend. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. And I would argue it's yeah. still yeah. better than a lot of media nowadays. But it's got to be, it has to be anime for me. It's just, there's so many, the amount of variety and storytelling and artistic expression and everything that they do in anime is crazy. And yes, that's the same for cartoons. Oh, I think cut out. Go. He died. Yeah, uh-huh. he just talked too much about the wheat oh. culture. They just cut him off immediately. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Yeah, no, it was no. rigged from the start. It that's was what, rigged that's what he from the start. About anime with a die passion. What happened? Is, okay. it, is it working? Yeah. 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 Yep. Here I am. Long winded and elaborate speech that's very well thought out. And yet, Discord decides, ha, funny. No. <laughs> um, 
anime is anime is my choice because there's just a certain there's a certain cultural aspect to it that can't be understated that like with with anime it's just the ins- the inspirations that go into so many of the different stories and the different interpretations and the different shows in general is just it's so much and i mean cartoons have a lot of that too but there's just something about anime that it just it's it's different it's built different it is i mean you've got you've got legends like you've got legends like akira toriyama um with with what he made with dragon ball impacting literally probably millions of people um it's just insane it's insane the amount of impact but then again you also have cartoons i mean think about think about what walt disney did and the inspiration that he's caused around the world like it is such a loaded question to ask one or the other on this one it's so tough legal but i just i I gotta i gotta say that's just me. Oh, that was very it, passionate. Yeah, that is it. That is true. I'm I did a you get animation, and I will stick by it until the end of time. Oh, I'm so with you there. I am so with yeah. you there. Did you get a chance to think of your answer, Corn? Uh, I hate saying it. I do. Um, but I have to concur with Kelp and go anime. Simply because the uh, style of... The Japanese style of humor and... Uh, storytelling better fits with my own and things that I generally enjoy um, where new cartoons go into a more uh, I don't want to say crude but uh, more uh, in your face humor I prefer a bit more subtlety however in saying this I am aware that I am giving up Steven Universe and Phineas and Ferb which are my two favorite shows of all time which hurts me physically. Um, I don't like this question, and I don't like my answer, yeah. but that is well, the answer it. I have to give. I'll, I'll draw you. I'll draw you another comparison. I mean, just think about think about this. Here's a recent anime movie that released, and here's a recent cartoon movie that released. Megamind versus the Doom Syndicate, mm-hmm. and the freaking boy and the heron. Need I say more? Oscar-winning movie. It, another thing that I'll just say, like just the the type of movies that the, the type of movies and shows and things. It's just like, gosh, there is just so much, so much more creative artistic input into a lot of anime than there is in certain cartoons because certain cartoons are clearly cash grabs. Oh yes. But, but certain animes are yeah. also clearly cash grabs. Certain there's no reason are. for there to, yeah. it's a there's remake, no reason for there to be as far. many Naruto's as there are. There just is no reason. Yeah. Like Boruto is a hundred percent straight up a cash grab. I don't, I don't understand why that needs to exist. But yeah, this, this question physically hurts me. I don't like my answer, but that is the answer I have to give. I am right there with you. Expected. I hate to say it because it means I'm giving up on stuff like the Prince of Egypt. I'm giving up on stuff like the Lion King. I'm giving up on stuff How like dare you. Owl House and Gravity Falls and everything, but I got to pick anime. It's, it's a fair answer. It's a, it's a tough answer, and it's yeah, a fair yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, Avatar The I'll Last the Airbender. Ke- yeah. uh, Kel- Kelp and I have talked too much. The other yeah, three of you me. answer. Yeah, I'll let the yeah. other two speak. I'd rather be safe for last. Yeah, uh, did you want to go next, Andrew? Uh, yeah, so it is a tough, it's a really hard question. Uh, you know, both mediums bring their own kind of flair, their own entertainment, their own styles. Uh, obviously, I grew up mostly with, uh, obviously, cartoons, animations, like, you know, Cartoon Network stuff, you know, you know Dexter's Laboratory, Ed, Ed and Eddie. Uh, Johnny Bravo and all that. Um, so I do have like a massive soft spot for all of that, but I do agree that obviously anime has a lot more, you know, layers to it. And it's a really hard one, you know, it's really hard. Um, oh, uh, you know, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to pick anime. Actually. I, I agree. Um, this isn't an easy choice, um, but yeah, I'm going to have to pick anime. All right. How about you, Gretchen? Getting... I'm kind of in the same boat. It's an extremely hard question. Um, cartoons 
especially the classic, have like lent to so much for gener like for different generations, like Ed and Eddie and Courage the Cowardly Dog and you know mm. Powerpuff Girls and stuff like that and Looney Tunes. But yeah, I don't know, anime. Anime as a medium has also like lent to a whole bunch of stuff in, as classics too. You got Dragon Ball and Akira and Appleseed and Gundam and all this stuff. And it's like, there's so many different like generations of creatives built on all of these. Um, so it's really difficult. I will have to probably say also like by like maybe a small margin, I lean into uh, anime a bit more only because I feel like the storytelling is a little less restrictive sometimes than uh, cartoons are allowed to be. I feel like when cartoons can be super creative and subversive with their storytelling, they pull it off so great. But agreed, agreed. Anime seems to just be able to like they they have the ability to do that because they're allowed to do that um, because they don't have the same restrictions and. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to go with uh, with anime plus the animation nerd. Like, I I love like how expressive anime yeah. is for even the smallest things. So I'd have to go for that. All okay. right, uh, da- Daniel, did you would you like to give the answer now? Absolutely, I'm gonna feel like an alien in this human society because look. I'm going to give a lot of credit for all the anime, well, as a medium and all the fan base from its storytelling, its artwork, and what it's done for the community, for aspiring artists, storytellers, voice actors, and even cosplayers, dare I say. But the, prepare to grab your guns, pitchforks, and everything else. I respect anime, but it's not 100% my style. It's not because it's a different culture everything else, and it's not just because, uh, hey, uh, there's one time where the family just makes anime illegal if you eventually celebrate it. There's one time where they <laughs> burn a Naruto video game just because they thought it was evil, which, you know, some human beings could be that delusional, but that doesn't matter. But, hey, without cartoons, most of the majorities of the animes will not exist, but the reason why I'm more of a tune guy, I mean, you could tell from the OC, you could tell by the style of humor is... Look, nostalgia aside from all the properties from Disney, Warner Brothers, Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, and the list goes on. Even though anime and Cartoon Network do have similar mediums and anime is a lot more, you know, mature for real men and more for real women. But the reason why I just find more comfort in cartoons is, yeah, I mean, yeah, cartoons can be edgy. They really can be in terms of their themes, in terms of their humor, obviously. I mean, hello, you got South Park, Family Guy, and The Simpsons, and many other ones. But I will admit, when it comes to, like, at the level of range where it comes to the inappropriate nature that goes too far, definitely anime, unapologetically, leans more to that ultra horny level, that ultra, like, super dark, super gory era than most cartoons will never risk it, because obviously they're trying to keep it tame either for the youth or either keep it tame for like general audiences as a whole but the reason why i just still stick with cartoons because i mean had cartoons was like the main inspiration obviously through childhood days and even till nowadays from the animation from television to even the animated movies like what kelp gave a shout out to prince of egypt and like and everything else from 2d to 3d it's like it's very universally beloved by everyone but if you go deep down to like some are definitely intentional to be just brainless filler just to make you laugh. But there are some exceptions like obviously you got some exceptions like Adventure Time or Gravity Falls where they have like a balance between comedy. But at the exact same time, take the lore, take the characters a lot more seriously. But overall, I just feel like I just find more comfort and basically a more inspiration where it comes to the earlier days of animation of how it influenced, especially anime of nowadays. But definitely, like I said, I feel like I'm an alien into this human society. I'm, I'm just a tune guy all the way. So don't fight me on this. Sorry to trigger the fan base, but that's just me being the I, minority of that 1%. I'm not sure why you would think. Fi- yeah, I'm not sure why you would think that the other four of us very much said this hurts that uh yeah. <laughs> your your answer is a perfectly valid one and one that maybe on another day just another day any of the four of us might have picked it's not i don't think it's a subversive or uh alien opinion at all it's a perfectly valid one and at least for the other four of us all of us said that this was one of the hardest choice easily the hardest choice of the night I'm just saying it's like anime is cool. Don't get me wrong. But uh, who the hell told you all that? Now, it's just coming from my own personal taste, ladies and gentlemen. And besides, um, even though even as a kid, when I was watching Pokemon or Dragon Ball, I was even questioned by things like, 
why are you moving their arms like that? And basically, I just understand that's a different animation style from a different studio. But I just say, like, for anime, I feel like I have to watch a couple ones. Like, obviously, I have a bro that's obsessed with Naruto and Dragon Ball and Attack on Titan. It's like, well, this, even if I'm not a fan, I have to at least acknowledge the respect and the impact and the culture so I can live up to my pop culture dude name and at least get to know the majority of this without any of the knowledge or without any of, you know, understanding the appeal to it, then basically I'm the only one that just feels lost in the crowd. So I have to like at least accept the appeal, but still respect its meaning for what it's done for so many people. Mm. think anyone's arguing with you. I think that's a perfectly valid, reasonable yeah. opinion to have. I yeah. absolutely yeah. agree with that. Okay. Absolutely. I agree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I'm just saying I'm the only Toon guy in this world, and I'm okay with that. Oh, you know, the torch proudly. Yep, you oh. do. All right, Leah, I know we're running out of time, so I think we have time for one more question. I'll let you ask the last question. Hey, um, here is the last would you rather question. Would you rather have Baskin Robbins ice cream or Cold Stone Creamery ice cream? Asking a tough question. <laughs> oh Wait, what was the question Not again? Really. It's already scared me a little bit. It's related to ice cream. It's okay. What's the ice cream question? Hold on. Uh, Baskin Robbins or Cold Stone? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. let, th- th- this oh, doesn't me, um, hurt. Yeah, go ahead. For me, for me, it's what, sorry. You go first. <laughs> no, I said go ahead. Go, go, go. Oh, okay. Um. Uh, yeah, for me, I'll go for Baskin Robinson because uh, there's like you know 31 different flavors, and um, you know I, I love that ice cream. I, I I go there quite often, so uh, I love my cookies and cream and vanilla. So yeah, I yeah that that's my choice. <laughs> Well, for me, I don't got much to say, but I have obviously visited both of the brands for both Cold Stone and Baskin Robbins. We're definitely ignoring um, what's the other one called? Friendly's or Jeremiah's Italian Ice, which obviously that's exclusive to other states, but not to everyone. But back to the main norm between the two. So I have not eaten Cold Stone that much. Aside from the waffle cones, really good. Despite how huge they are, they really are that tasty. But when it comes to ice cream varieties and the ones that have the most memories with every time I go to a Dunkin' Donuts next to a Baskin Robbins, it's like, yeah, I probably might go with Baskin Robbins ice cream cake. And I literally discovered Baskin Robbins from a commercial from a from a father just whispering Baskin Robbins ice cream cake. So Baskin Robbins for me. Mm-hmm. This is a hard one. It doesn't hurt me like the anime versus cartoons question did, but it is a hard one. I do love ice cream. Um, I'm going to go with Cold Stone because of the richness of their ice cream. I just like the uh, flavor of it. They use a lot of milk and I like that, but... They're both great. I'm only picking Cold Stone because I have to make a choice. I will take either happily. Mm. Her point. How about you, Coach Titan? I'm in the same vein. I've had both. Both are good. I think I've probably been to Cold Stone a little bit more than uh, Baskin Robbins. There's not a lot of Baskin Robbins where I'm at. I'm going to be real. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go with Cold Stone only because like, just having to pick one. Um, and it's just been a while since I've been to Baskin, but they're both yeah. really good. Mm. I love my mint chip. Mm-hmm. How about you guys? That's a great flavor. Mm. Probably got to go with Cold Stone. Oh. Mainly because I don't really think I've had much Baskin Robbins. I've only really had like Cold Stone. Like when I hear of Baskin Robbins, I hear of the thing that's attached to Dunkin' Donuts. And I never think about it. I th- because if I'm going to the Dunkin' Donuts, Baskin Robbins, I'm getting Dunkin' Donuts. That's just me. But I would say I got to go with Cold Stone. That's just me. One thing it does have going for it is that they give you a free mix in. I mean, that's true. So, but correct me if I'm wrong. wrong. Does that mean everyone here except me actually just chose Cold Stone? Uh, no, I think no. that Andrew chose Andrew Baskin chose Robbins. Andrew chose Baskin, too. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'm not alone with the cartoon anime debate. Just that um, for me, I just go to Baskin Robbins a lot. Cold Stone's creamy is cool, but I just don't visit there that much often because I just get ice cream at home whenever I get to. Whether what's the brand called? Briars, I think that's the name. Where it's at the grocery store. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah the, uh, Briars is good. The Bluebell is king. We're oh, all yeah. Turkey Hill. Oh, 
Turkey Hill. Turkey Hill always wins for me. Never heard of it. This is kind of like a debate between McDonald's or Burger King, but it's ice cream brands this time. I mean, Wendy's. Yeah, Wendy's oh my god. Fro- fr- or Frosties. Freddy's. Freddy's Frosties is, really is A+. Plus. What is... I've never been to a Freddy's. Is that a... Is that so, an East Coast thing? Does that yeah, exist on East they're, Coast? they're on the East Coast, but there is one in uh in the South in Texas and stuff like that in Arizona. Yeah, so it's like Central and East, but it's a um, it's a steak burger place that also Ooh. has malts and milkshakes. Mm. And genuinely, their stuff is amazing. It's the only type of burger I genuinely will be like Look. that that all the time. Steak oh, what did, me and my family oh, love them. What, what, so what, what did you say this place was called? Freddy's. Freddy's. I thought I it was am making Lee's. a note. No, 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 Freddy's. 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 Burger. I, have not I am making Freddy's, note. Kidding. I need to find this place and eat it. I, I, I genuinely want to hear saying. your opinion when you do. Please, please Great. let me know. I, I will. hear what you're saying, and I'll let you cook. But in and out Burger. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm out. taking you out of the kitchen, actually, for that Oh, one. my God. <laughs> Never been to that one that much, Austin. Taking the pots and pans away from you. Aside no from five guys in Culver's. I love in and out I in do. And out is, is good, and it's only West Coast, and I it's only West Coast. I'm on the West Coast. Yeah. Uh, whenever like, I, I visit, on it. I've whenever it once, I it go sick, to, I it whenever I go to California to film, um, one of the first things that my friend who lives there does is take me to the nearest In and Out because it. I can't argue. It's it is the best fast food place, bar none. <laughs> Right. Yeah, I don't know. I've had it, and it was—it's too oily for me. Mm. Too it. greasy, too greasy. That's fair. Mm. It's not for everybody. It's just yeah. very much for me. Burgers are good <laughs> either way, though. Mm-hmm. Beefy, juicy, chunky. Yasu. Comfort, mm. comfort in a bun. All right. All righty. Unfortunately, we will have to end this panel. <laughs> um. But yeah, I want to I want to thank um the the rebel VAs here for incidents. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um Daniel, I want to thank you um Glitch Kitten, Andrew HBA, and Diet Dr. Kelp for <laughs> for doing this would you rather? <laughs> thank you for having us. It was an honor to voice Diet Dr. Kelp on this panel. <laughs> I had a fun time learning about everybody. It was nice to, to have that opportunity. Yeah. It's fun to do yeah, to full disclosure. Everybody I was going to say, gonna say full disclosure. I don't know much about you people. I only just see like your names like online or something. So it's like, wait, who are these people? Oh yeah, they're in the revolution thing. But I don't know yeah. about the interior side. <laughs> it's fun. I, nice to get friends. It's a breath of fresh air, and like what I said, it's definitely an even more breath of fresh air for me to, like, at least we open by ourselves as human beings and not just fucking animals, just to entertain the audience, it's, you know? It's nice to do things sometimes as ourselves. Yeah. It's the funny part yeah. is the first panel I ever did here was as myself, because it was the cat panel. Yes, you are, Knuckles. Yeah. I love that for you. It was a really fun mm-hmm. panel. Yeah, so... Breath of fresh and- air. All right, the next panel is on April 4th at 4 p.m. PT, 7 p.m. ET, Lego Sonic and Friends. <laughs> oh. Lego my ego. We can and all be built like an incomplete Lego set. We are go. the pieces of the problem. Just don't let's step yes, on Yes, me the pieces of the problem. <laughs> Do not try to resistance. Me. Do and not we'll try to on me. <laughs> we'll sing everything is awesome 24-7. <laughs> Lego my ego, Josh, indeed. <laughs> Glitch kitten, the more I talk to you, the more I love you. <laughs> I adore oh. you. I think you're so fun. <laughs> you're so great. Everybody here is so chill. I'm like really happy to have met everybody here. Oh uh, hey, we're glad to have you here. I also get to like I, I don't know, I'm this is stranger. probably the first in a little bit hanging out with like Andrew, and I've known him forever now. So like it's nice to get the opportunity to finally like hang out. So that was um. fun. <laughs> and and of course um cartoon nights is is tomorrow not friday so cartoon nights is the theme for tomorrow is family we will be watching cartoons that really emphasize the family dynamics so please be sure to tune in at for the pre-show is at 3 30 p.m pt 
6.30 p.m. ET. And of course, Cartoon Nights starts at, well, Eggman's Cartoon Nights, because he wants us to call it that. We'll start at 4 p.m. PT, 7 p.m. ET. So it's tomorrow, not Friday. I'm just reminding you, <laughs> everyone. It's I know it's a little weird, but, you know, um, we're doing it tomorrow for Eggman's Cartoon Night. So may you all have a wonderful night. Bye, everyone. Good night, everybody. Have a good night. Take care so now. Bye, right then. In case I don't Bye. see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. See ya. Bye. Bye-bye.